In the heart of the Mediterranean, Malta has stood resilient, shaping and adapting its economy over the centuries. The economic story of Malta begins in ancient times, where its strategic location made it a crucial trading post. The Phoenicians, seafaring merchants from the east, were the first to recognize Malta's potential. They set up trade routes, exchanged goods, and helped Malta flourish as a center for commerce. Following the Phoenicians, the Carthaginians, a powerful civilization from North Africa, took control of the islands. They continued to use Malta as a trading hub, further strengthening its economic significance in the region. The Carthaginians' reign, however, was not to last. The Romans, in their quest for empire, conquered Malta, adding yet another layer to its rich history. Under Roman rule, Malta continued to serve as a commercial center. In addition to its established role in trade, the Romans introduced new industries to the island such as olive oil and wine production, adding to Malta's economic diversity. The island's economy thrived and its reputation as a key player in Mediterranean trade was solidified. Over the centuries, Malta's economy has been shaped by its strategic location, its resourcefulness, and its ability to adapt to changing circumstances. From the Phoenicians to the Romans, each civilization has left its mark, creating a unique economic tapestry that is still evident today. This rich history laid the foundation for Malta's economic resilience. The 19th century brought British rule and a tide of change to Malta. In the year 1814, the island became a British colony, sparking a wave of notable economic and social transformations. This colonial period was a turning point in Malta's history, marking the beginning of a journey towards modernization and prosperity. During British rule, Malta's economy underwent a significant shift. The island's strategic location in the Mediterranean Sea, which had long made it a valuable trading post, now positioned it as a crucial naval base for the British Empire. This led to an influx of British military spending and subsequently, a boost to the local economy. But the British influence extended beyond the military realm. With the introduction of British administrative systems and educational reforms, the island started to experience social advancements. English became the official language alongside Maltese, broadening the opportunities for international trade and communication. The British also brought with them the seeds of industrialization. The first railways were introduced, connecting different parts of the island and facilitating trade, the harbors were expanded, and new industries started to emerge. The shipbuilding industry in particular grew rapidly, providing employment and stimulating economic growth. However, the road to industrialization was not always smooth. The transition from an agrarian economy to an industrial one brought its own set of challenges. It required a change in the way of life, a shift in skills, and a resilience to adapt. But the Maltese people with their enduring spirit navigated these changes and steadily moved towards a more diversified economy. As the 19th century drew to a close, the foundations for a modern economy were already in place. The economic landscape of Malta had been transformed with new industries, improved infrastructure, and a more educated workforce. The British era, despite its challenges, set the stage for Malta's modern economic journey. The mid-20th century brought devastation and rebirth to Malta's economy. As the storm clouds of World War II gathered, Malta found itself in the crosshairs of conflict once again. The island's strategic location made it a prime target for extensive bombing, causing significant damage and leaving the economy in tatters. But even as the dust settled on a war-ravaged landscape, the seeds of recovery were already being sown. The post-war reconstruction period was a time of immense challenge, but also of opportunity. With support from the British and American allies, Malta embarked on a Herculean effort to rebuild its battered infrastructure and revitalize its economy. This was not just about repairing physical damage but also about laying the groundwork for future prosperity. The reconstruction efforts provided much-needed jobs, stimulating economic activity and setting the stage for a new era of growth. Infrastructure projects from roads and bridges to schools and hospitals not only restored essential services but also equipped Malta to meet the demands of the modern world. The reconstruction period was a turning point in Malta's economic history. It was a time of transformation when the island nation rose like a phoenix from the ashes of war to forge a new path towards progress. The scars of the past were still visible but the spirit of resilience was stronger than ever. The post-war era was a testament to Malta's resilience and economic adaptability. 
And as we'll see in the next scene, this adaptability would be key to navigating the challenges and opportunities of the coming decades. The latter half of the 20th century marked a new chapter in Malta's economic history. In the 1960s Malta gained independence from Britain, a monumental event that would set the stage for a major economic shift. No longer under the influence of British policy, the new Maltese government could steer its own course. The aim? To diversify the economy and reduce reliance on military expenditure, a relic of its colonial days. This shift towards economic diversification was a bold move, one that required careful planning and steadfast execution. The Maltese government looked to tourism and manufacturing as potential growth sectors. By the mid-60s, the estimated gross domestic product of Malta stood at a modest $200 million, primarily driven by these two sectors. However, the journey was far from over. As the decades rolled on, Malta continued to make strides in diversifying its economy. It was a challenging path, but one that Malta was determined to tread. The 70s saw further industrialization and attempts at economic self-sufficiency. By 1975, the GDP had grown to $500 million, a testament to Malta's persistent efforts, but also a sign of the struggles it faced with inflation and energy costs. Then came the 80s, a time of significant economic reforms. The government aimed to liberalize the economy, a move that would ultimately pay off. By 1985, Malta's GDP had ballooned to $1.2 billion. The 90s, marked by preparations for European Union membership, saw robust growth driven by tourism, manufacturing, and emerging financial services. By 1995, the GDP had surged to $3.5 billion. Independence brought about a new economic vision for Malta, one that would propel it into the 21st century. The journey was filled with challenges. But the Maltese people met them head-on, transforming their economy and setting the stage for a promising future. With independence came the power to shape their own destiny, and Malta grabbed the opportunity with both hands, charting its course towards economic diversification and prosperity. The turn of the century saw Malta embracing a wider European identity. The year 2004 was a landmark moment as Malta joined the European Union. This transition was more than just a political move, it was a catalyst for economic transformation. With EU membership, Malta gained access to new markets, bringing a whole new realm of possibilities for trade and commerce. The expanded market access fueled a surge in foreign investment, infusing capital into the Maltese economy. Malta was no longer a small island nation in the Mediterranean, but part of a larger interconnected European economy. Furthermore, EU membership brought structural funds for development. These funds were instrumental in modernizing Malta's infrastructure, from transportation to utilities and even digital infrastructure. The modernization of infrastructure played a pivotal role in creating an environment conducive to business and investment. This period of economic modernization was reflected in the country's gross domestic product. By 2008, Malta's GDP had grown to $7.2 billion, with growth averaging around 4 to 5 percent annually. This growth was a testament to the positive impact of EU membership and the country's successful efforts at modernization. EU membership marked a significant milestone in Malta's economic journey, opening up new opportunities and challenges. The Maltese economy had evolved, embracing the opportunities and navigating the challenges of being part of the European Union. The last decade has been a time of transformation and resilience for Malta's economy. The 2010-S started with an economic boom, as sectors like financial services, tourism, information technology and gaming began to flourish. This diversification fortified the Maltese economy, with the gross domestic product reaching a staggering $14 billion by the end of the decade. This growth, however, was not without its trials. As we moved into the 2020-S, the world was hit with an unprecedented challenge, the COVID-19 pandemic. Like many nations, Malta grappled with significant impacts on tourism and other sectors. Yet, in the face of adversity, Malta's economy demonstrated remarkable resilience. The government quickly implemented support measures to cushion the blow, focusing on digital transformation and innovation. This strategy proved successful, as the economy contracted to $13 billion in 2020 but rebounded impressively in the subsequent years. By 2023, the GDP had surged to nearly $18 billion, with a growth rate of 6.85%. This recovery, coupled with continued diversification efforts, underlines the robustness of the Maltese economy. 
Despite challenges, Malta continues to demonstrate economic resilience and adaptability, setting the stage for a promising future. From its ancient origins to its modern realities, Malta's economy has weathered numerous storms. It transformed from a crucial trading post in antiquity, through British colonial rule and industrialization, to its post-independence economic diversification. The island nation has navigated through world wars, embraced EU membership, and adapted to the digital age. Despite challenges like the recent global pandemic, Malta's economy continues to show resilience. The story of Malta's economic resilience is a testament to its adaptability, strategic location, and the tenacity of its people.